Hey guys, I'm your new Saturday vlogger. My name's Delen. I use she, her pronouns, and I have another YouTube channel. It's Delen Jadzia, and it's linked in the description where I do American Sign Language and vocal covers as well as some original songs and just general nonsense. So if you guys want to check that out, that's down there. Um, I apologize in advance for the filming quality. I'm just using my phone because unfortunately my computer and my other camera are kind of off limits at the moment. Um, due to the fact that my laptop sort of died. <laughs> so I'm just using my phone for this one, but in the future it should be better quality, hopefully. Um, apart from that, uh, let's see, okay. Um, my favorite film is either The Martian or Serenity, which is the movie that follows um, the Firefly series by Joss Whedon. Um, either one of those, I can't really decide, it depends on the day. Um, both of those are super awesome. I love The Martian because I love um, hard science fiction, and I love Serenity because I love Firefly. <laughs> the first album I got uh, was probably Troy Sivan's album, although I can't really remember. Most of the music that I have is from my dad, um, so I didn't really buy it or choose it, but I just listened to it. But I think that's the first one I can remember actually purchasing, so I'll go with Troy Sivan. <laughs> My favorite book is probably Ready Player One, um, or possibly The Martian, but I'm going to set The Martian to the side because I already chose it for my favorite movie. Uh, I really like Ready Player One. It's a quality science fiction book. Um, the first word that comes to mind right now is probably Oz, because I was just listening to Straight Out of Oz um, by Todrick Hall, which is fantastic. It's awesome. It is my current favorite album slash musical collection thing. It's super cool. It is awesome. Anyway, <laughs> so this week we're going to be talking about school. So um, I thought I would tell you guys about the type of school that I go to, which is not a super common one. It's called a middle college high school. And what it is, is sort of a mod podge thrown together um, course of college and high school courses. So uh, for example, I'm taking government and English at the high school that I attend, as well as um, mathematics and sign language 102 at the um, community college that is attached to my high school. Uh, so through both of those credits coming together, I'm able to finish my requirements not only to graduate high school, but also to receive associate's degrees um, at the end of this year, because I'm a senior. Um, so it's super cool. I really have enjoyed the experience because it's allowed me to get a lot of my credits done in gen eds. So when I transfer to university, I will be able to start almost immediately working on my major prep for a degree in chemical engineering, which I super love because it means one, I don't have to deal with taking that extra time and I can get my degree sooner, as well as two, I'm able to go ahead and basically not worry about having to pay so much for college um, because I have those free credits from my time at my middle college high school. As well as it looks cool and I can say to other people, hey, I got my uh, mathematics associate's degree a day before I graduated high school, which hopefully will be true. Uh, one thing I would warn, if you're on a sports team, if you're super duper duper into some specific extracurricular activity, check if your middle college high school has it. Because with mine, um, we actually don't have any sports teams, which would be problematic if I were someone who was super into softball or soccer or another sport. I don't know that many sports. Football? A lot of people do football, right? As well as the theater at my school is just the one that happens at the college, at the community college. So you have to figure out if it actually fits with your schedule, which a lot of the time it might not. So if you are one of the people that's super into that and less into academics, it might not be for you. But still, nonetheless, I would recommend looking at it and seeing, hey, is this like a thing that I could do? Um, because everyone knows that college is expensive and we're not going to have Bernie Sanders save us from that. So it's a really good way to avoid going broke or having incredible amounts of student loans when you exit from university. Um, I'm hoping I'm going to have three associate's degrees um, by a year from now, sooner actually, um, when I graduate in the spring, the day before my high school graduation is my college graduation. Um, if I get into all of my classes <laughs> and I'm able to uh, pass all of them and as well on top of that I need to um, petition the school to actually give me my um, associate's degrees. If all that works out I should have those degrees and it will be awesome and I will definitely post a video streaming about it um, and you can see all the pretty lettering on it and all of that. 
But yeah, I really, really like my middle college high school. I think it's been a great experience. The fact that there's only um, less than 100 kids per grade level means that I know almost everyone in my grade and we're all pretty close, as well as the fact that since we don't have um, big dances of our own, we're able to attend the dances at other schools in the district, which means that we can go crash the big dances. Well, not crash. We're we're generally well behaved, but <laughs> we're able to go and attend those and actually get the full high school experience of going to prom and all of that without having to worry about our academics getting in the way of our sociality. But yeah, that is my own school experience and I have had a great time there and I recommend you guys check out if there's one in your area if you're looking at going into high school soon or even if you're already a freshman or a sophomore. Um, people are able to transfer into my school up until June junior year. Seniors, you can't transfer in at a senior level because it gets a little bit ridiculous and it's very, very hard to figure out your scheduling and actually being able to graduate um, with the classes that you have to take because of the fact that it uh, the scheduling gets a little bit weird. So it's a little bit complicated, but I find it worth it and I've had a really great time at it. Um, if you have questions, typey type them. Uh, if you don't, see you guys next Saturday.